Hello everyone, and welcome back to yet another Mortal Kombat video. Still coming off the immediate hype of the Hourglass tease this week. Today, I actually wanted to do a deep dive about the ideas that were brought forth from said video, and just generally give my own perspective on each topic from the breakdown, the likelihood of those ideas happening, and really, if whether or not Mortal Kombat 12 should be tackling them. As the ending to both 11 and and aftermath is so ambiguously open-ended but it feels like anything is possible and really it has gone against the traditional stinger ending of previous nrs installment now please do keep in mind that this video will largely be piggybacking off the previous one which in itself is 100 percent based in theory so going forward i really really do recommend giving that video a watch first just to give this one a bit more context to the ideas i brought forth from analyzing and seeing as i've given myself a few days to kind of sit and think on it honestly it's given me a lot to ponder about both wondrously and cynically because we have a lot of possibilities here and the next few steps we take are probably going to be the most important in the franchise ever since the very first installment but it's kind of hard to not feel weary or at least uneasy because whilst 11 had a lot of positive elements to it like it was really nice to have Liu kang back in the main character role and ascend to godhood and the revenants were restored back to human kind of it simply can't be overlooked that the sudden change of the tide with the inclusion of chronica the instant erasure of dark raiden and so many lingering plot threads it kind of naturally made a lot of people pretty sour on the game so with reason there's a bit of skepticism on my part going into this installment and with a new status quo really coming in here from both and i suppose either endings with aftermath and the base game it wages a lot of options so today let's talk about the ideas i brought up the likelihood of them happening and whether or not i want to see them first and foremost from the last video a new mysterious big bad of cosmic proportions one so powerful powerful that it has the ability to quite literally erase universes and complete timelines out of existence but again this is all under the assumption that each grain is symbolically supposed to be a universe on paper this all does sound pretty cool and we naturally know that with each mortal kombat game we are getting new characters but do I think this kind of entity works in a universe like Mortal Kombat? I don't really think so. In my opinion, I think Mortal Kombat thrives so, so much more when it's grounded in reality. So its foundation feels relatable, but one based in just enough hyper fantasy and violence that you can enjoy the outrageous nature of it. So again, I think the inclusion of other cosmic level threats might be a bit too much. The only thing I suppose that could fit into this, if it was to be explored of course, is that this would probably have to be a titan, and fans aren't entirely too fond of this sudden inclusion. So something like this, back to back, might feel a little bit forced. Personally, I'm not too crazy on cosmic deities. I really don't like the Elder Gods. I think they're fucking useless. But I also know that there are some lines for Mortal Kombat that simply should not be crossed. And the threshold of Elder God onwards is where things get a little bit iffy, especially in the canon. Like there has to be a line before we go, that's pretty stupid, how did we get here? We don't need Chris Redfield levels of like punching a boulder right now, but I think there's enough threats in the present that could easily suffice as a much more grounded villain, at least if they are to be handled in the right way. But that's actually a topic for another video. My second idea was the return of the one being. And again, this kind of falls on my personal feelings about cosmic deities. However, unlike the Titan, the one being did have a lot of setup. Hell, he was even supposed to be the main antagonist of Mortal Kombat Armageddon before it was scrapped. But it seems like maybe that time has simply passed. Don't get me wrong, the one being is long, and I mean 
long overdue for some kind of exploration. But with how much Mortal Kombat has changed, specifically with Shijinko and the Kamidogu Daggers, the one being just feels like a character that was never meant to be. I think it's the perfect opportunity and time with a character like Onaga 100% being viable. I'm gonna put it like this. Fire God Liu Kang with the hourglass of time battling Onaga infused with the power of the one being. And it could make sense as well because for the one being to come into existence, the universe would probably explode if he was to be defeated by Liu Kang. It's open up to interpretation, but I do feel like we're sitting on a gold mine with this idea. Now onto our third topic, Titans. Again, I'm really on the fence when it comes to the Titans. Do I like their sudden appearance out of nowhere? No, not especially. But if they are to be included, this is a great opportunity to tie in a lot of ideas and explore what the hell are they? Slight tangents, but whilst I'm not a fan of the 3D era, one thing I cannot deny that this era does unfathomably well is building the lore and foundation of the franchise, giving it an origin whilst simultaneously expanding on its roots in more ways than one. This is something the NRS saga has been lacking, maybe being too reliant on the foundation that was laid out before. Four. But of course, with new ideas comes new groundwork, a new foundation, and that's why the Titans to me just fell a bit flat, because there was nothing to really push off to be excited by. So, if the Titans are to return, I sincerely hope that some actual development can be laid out for them here. I mean, hey, here's one right off the bat. Have it so during the dawn of creation, the Titans, much like the one being, was isolated and cast out into unconsciousness in the previous timeline, forever bound to an eternal chamber. However, Raiden's tampering of the timeline and abilities far beyond his own is slowly what began to unravel reality. So by Mortal Kombat 11, they are no longer imprisoned. It actually helps make a lot of sense as to why they've been absent for so long. Plus, it also helps bring back the one being into the fall, as it once again makes him a viable character and essentially a volcano that everyone's sitting on. There, in just one setup, I've made the one being and Titan's absence make sense. Where the Titans came from, that's where things can get creative and a bit wild. But that's not for this video. And with the hourglass having fallen into the hands of Liu Kang, you could set up an interesting premise where the Titans see this as sacrilege, where upon awakening, a now false god wields incredible power that can rival a Titan. And seeing it as dangerous for a mortal to come so close to wielding not just the power of a god, but a Titan itself, they may want to erase such a threat in this universe. Plus, visually, we actually have seen quite a few of them. So a part of me definitely does want to see this be explored just out of sheer curiosity. But I'd only ever want this to be touched on if some groundwork is made to supplement it. Our final idea here is the Shang Tsung ending, where upon gaining the hourglass, the Overseer becomes cosmically aware of the worlds beyond his own and thus looks to ensure his victory, looking to snuff out any and all universes that could do him harm. Once again, going back to what I said about the grain exploding. Now, before we start, I can't lie, this idea is super, super ambitious and really out there, as it literally delves into the multiverse and alternative canon. But this is all things confirmed to exist in Mortal Kombat 11, where every ending is canon in their own way, including arcade endings. Honestly, whilst I think this idea is super cool, and I kind of feel like making the idea of every ending intriguing, it does kind of feel a bit out of place, and possibly a step too far beyond the parameters of this franchise. The whole time travel element of Mortal Kombat's story has been a finicky but important plot device to the series. 
Wars. There's simply no doubt about that. But I also feel that by MK11, it had overstayed its welcome, especially considering how its entire story is built around that. It's also kind of hard to ignore just how powerful something like the Hourglass is and how pivotal it kind of becomes to storytelling itself. It's in a really delicate spot, and I think an over-reliance on something like this could really rip away the stakes in this story, making consequences feel meaningless. So I kind of like the idea of a rogue Shang Tsung going around and completely removing this possibility from the equation. I'd kind of be open to see how this unfolds out of pure interest, but I still think there are other stories that wager just as much promise. Like, fundamentally, I'd love to see the Great Kung Lao era in action. It's something fresh, something new. It's similar enough, but not too intrinsically tied to the main framework of the narrative. Or better yet, if we do see the Shang Tsung ending, I'd much prefer us to explore the dire wasteland of the world that remain, like how the remaining survivors are forced to the Chaos Realm, or even the brutal authoritarian lifestyle of Saido. And they do this whilst simultaneously fighting a brutal death god. There are so many possibilities and so many ideas, but I don't really think we have to reach beyond those parameters. But that's just a crackpot idea on my end. I think there's some incredibly interesting threads to explore throughout the franchise. And Mortal Kombat as a series is one heavily built on a beautiful foundation and legacy. I think if anything, we should keep adding to it whilst still acknowledging how far we can push the needle before it does break. I'm all for trying new ideas, especially when it comes to exploring both the lore and the canon, but it has to come with time to really make the these ideas flourish. But for now everyone, that has been it for me. So with that said, I will relay this to all of you now. What would you like to see? Do you think any of these ideas could take shape? Please do comments down below. And if not, what did you have in your own mind? Please do comments down below as I'd love to dig through the comments and get some ideas myself. Well, that's a wrap for now. So as always everyone, stay strong, stay well, and keep on fighting. I'll see you all soon.